Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, Plagios here, bringing you another episode of Star Wars The Old Republic, some PvP. I'm playing on Hey Blinken. Did you say Hey Blinken? No, I didn't say Hey Blinken, I said Hey Blinken. Anyway, so yeah, we're playing uh, Novari Coast on Hey Blinken, my operative heal. And I'm running with Ileana, of course, she's doing her tank thing again. Trying to get this node right off the bat here, but uh, not very successful. I'm getting getting stopped every time I do it. I tried a couple times, but then I start seeing the AOEs throwing down. They're getting wise to it, so sort of give it up and jump back and uh, start trying to heal up and take down the enemy so we can get this node. We've already got the eastern node. It looks like we're making a little bit of headway on the west. And the fight's down here to the south. So I just want to give a shout out to those that are watching my videos. Uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Um, please feel free to comment down below. And just know that uh, you are appreciated. I'm doing this for the fun of it. But uh, I'm also wanting to entertain you guys too. And interact with uh, people that are watching the videos as well. So keep up the work for me. Or keep up the good work. And uh, just keep watching. Feel free to comment down below as well. And as always, like and subscribe if you uh, like the content that I'm putting out. But anyway, it looks like we've got the western emplacement as well. So we got both east and west. And making a little bit more headway down here. I see this guy trying to take south again, so I interrupt him. Throw him some damage. Or a stun there, rather. And get back up out of the way. Start throwing the heels down again. Right now it looks like most of the damage focus is on Ileana and myself, so trying to keep us both up. It looks like I am getting a little bit of assistance on the heal. I see Chandria throwing out some heals there too. So that's awfully nice, making it a little bit easier. It looks like we pretty much wiped them out, so I go and cap off this node here. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better here with Mervyn. I, uh, did a little bit of study and found there's a couple actual uh, heals that I were missing that were, you know, mobility heals, and they uh, they do pretty good. There's no cooldown on them. They're uh, they're proc activated, uh, so when they're up there, they can be used in their instant. So it's nice. And we see them taking the west, so I'm figuring they're probably going to come try and get east again. So we're going up that way to take a look. And I see four stealthers, including myself, heading up that way. Has taken the Western emplacement. So we're just going to go up here and see what we can do. We are penetrating the Republic shield. Continue firing. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have thrown that stun down on there. That's a longer cooldown. And that guy was almost dead with three or four of us up here already. That was kind of a waste. Could have been used a little bit later. But that's what I make these videos for, honestly. Uh... Well, one of the reasons, anyway, is so that I can watch them again and see what I'm doing as far as my errors go to improve my gameplay as well. I think, quite honestly, that's kind of where it started. I uh, just wanted to make these videos just so that I could watch my gameplay and improve a little bit on it. And then decided to start sharing it with you all as well. So throw a stun down on that guy broadside and he doesn't break it he just maintains with it or sticks with it and then of course when he comes out he's mad so he comes and gets me and he's got a little bit of assistance and I just can't heal through it that's okay though just heading back up there to east again got lucky on the door there I don't even think I bother going to stealth here See quite a bit of red here, but we got a couple of greens and we got more coming too, it looks like so. Looks like they did get a piece of the bunker, but not a whole lot. That little I don't even know what you want to call it, that little object in the middle there with those uh, columns is it's a pain in the butt for a lot of sight. I gotta move around it sometimes it's, it will interfere in the middle of a heel or even in the middle of a cast if they move into that area. 
and here's Broadside again, trying to take on me again. I give him a stun there. In retrospect, I should have given him my bigger stun there uh, as well, but I missed that opportunity. I think I was trying to right there, but he gave me a knockback before I could get it off. And consequently die. So let's go hit it up one more time. And I get lucky again on that door. Got really lucky on the doors this game. This time I do go with stealth, I really don't know why. I guess kind of to mask my approach, maybe. There's Broadside again. He sees me right away, stuns me himself now. And then we're throwing down the heels. Keeping myself alive. His Broadside just doesn't like me. Rightfully so, though. I am keeping everybody alive, keeping him from killing anybody. <laughs> That's what I do. But overall, they get me. I probably should be a little bit more mindful of the uh, the AOE stuff at my feet. But a lot of times I find I can heal myself through it. And look at that, I get the door again. And we got a three cap. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I should be uh, a little bit more mindful of what's on my feet. Uh, most of the time, though, I feel like I can heal through it. But sometimes it just... Those numbers just start stacking up. And... Uh, I end up dying because of those. So I'm coming down here to the south because I believe uh, my wife called out that we're getting hit down here to the south. And yeah, there she is after having been killed herself. So we decided to come down here to think things look pretty good up in the east and we're not even getting any competition on west, it don't look like. But we've pretty much got the win in the bag here already unless they can cap two. And this guy gives me a stun and runs away. Trying to keep Ileana up. Ten percent to a hundred percent. We've almost got it. And I'm noticing that the, the that assassin there, his uh, is it an assassin? Yeah, I think it's an assassin. He's uh, his kill name is Milk and Wookies, and that's kind of funny. I do really enjoy the creativity on a lot of names and uh, guild names in this uh, in this game overall. Um, I think the favorite guild that I came across was a guild called Spaceballs the Guild, which would be fantastic for me being part of the Rottingham Legacy uh, <laughs> to get into. I used to see them fairly active, but I don't see them on very much anymore. Um, unless I just do a lot of PvE, which is possible. There are some guilds that are focused mainly on PvE. Look at that, I got that door too. How weird is that? But anyway, that's the round. We ended up winning. They didn't put any damage to us at all on our ships anyway, so that was a pretty heavily one-sided win. But anyway, um, please like and subscribe, and feel free to comment down below. And until next time, I bid you adieu. Peace.